Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I haven't done a video in a good while and actually I would like to share something with you. I'm currently an intern here at Gigabyte in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, what I do here I make digital stuff like web banners, graphics and stuff alike for Gigabyte. As we do know Gigabyte they do make video cards for your computer and today is the big release of Nvidia's new architecture Maxwell and I actually got the opportunity to play with the new cards before the release. So I thought it could be fun to show you the card, do an unboxing Boxing, showing you how it performs via some benchmarks. So if you're interested in the GeForce GTX 980, you should take a look at this video. So today we will take a look and I'll show you this product from Gigabyte and it's G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 980. Uh, the GTX 980 is a high-end card from Nvidia with the Maxwell architecture and it's equipped with the GM104 chip with 4 gigabytes of video RAM. And this specific model from Gigabyte is a unique one because it has been overclocked from factory, it has a unique cooler and stuff alike. So this is the product I will be showing you today. So this box we do see the G1 Gaming and it's actually a series of graphics card and motherboards from Gigabyte with some unique features for the hardcore enthusiasts and gamers. About the G1 Gaming, you can see it here in the bottom actually. It has a Windforce cooler, the 600 out, which is a new design on the cooler. It has been super overclocked and handpicked, so the GPUs are sorted to be the very best. And it's, it's featured with the flex display technology, so you can uh, have multiple displays at the same time. I will talk about this later. Turning the box around, we do see the box, and here we see it all, the information, the G1 gaming graphics card, what it means. We see the wind force explanation and how the technique works. We see the super overclock, the GPU gauntlet sorting, and the flex display. So, looking at the box, I think the more interesting thing is inside the box. Let's open it. So inside of the colored box, we see this black box and inside of this box is where the fun stuff is. So let's open it. And as we can see, here we see the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 980. So here we see the new design of the Windforce cooler called the Windforce 600 Watt Out. Over here we do see three unique fans and a huge heatsink. And the heatsink consists of the triangle cool technology, which means that when the fans are blowing air in, it's directed up and down out of the graphics card. The heatsink also has six composite heat pipes and a VRAM heatsink to make sure the RAM modules are being cooled. Turning the card around, we do see something new over here, the Windforce logo in a new spot. Something else that's new is that it's illuminated by some blue LED lightning. So when you put the card in your computer and turn your computer on, it will actually shine blue right here out of the Windforce tech. It looks pretty cool. Here we do see two 8-pin connectors. Actually the 980 from Nvidia only has two 6-pin connectors, but since this is an overclocked card, it comes with two 8-pin connectors to make sure you can overclock the card enough. And uh, this is an overclocked card with a core clock of 1228 MHz and a boost frequency of 1329 MHz. Turning the card around, we do see the backplate, a metal backplate, a stylish one, with the G1 gaming logo over here. And turning the card on the back, we do see six video outputs. First, we do see a DVI-D, a DVI-I, three display ports and one HDMI. And with the flex display technology, you can connect up to four monitors at the same time, all of them running the 4K resolution. <laughs> So, after taking a first quick look at the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 980, I thought it would be fun to do some tests. So, uh, I ran the benchmark called 3D Mark Fire Strike on all of these cards, and I ran both the Standard and the Extreme Edition. And the cards we see are, of course, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 980, the GTX 980 reference card from Nvidia, the Gigabyte 780 Ti OC and the Gigabyte 780 OC. I ran the benchmark, I took numbers, I wrote them down, I compared them and I made some graphs. So let's see how they perform.
So looking at the benchmark results of the G1 Gaming GTX 980, we do see it performed really, really good. That being said, I think this product is a good product for gamers, for hardcore gamers. It's a good cooling solution. It looks great, especially with the blue LED lightning. Uh, you have so many possibilities. And actually, I haven't tried them all out, so I will actually go and play some games. I haven't done that enough. A quick notice, since I'm here at my internship in Gigabyte, if you have any specific questions about this product, be, be sure to post them in the comments, because I can ask the staff here about specific questions. So do that, and I will go and play some games. Thank you.